Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the markups list. If you're not already familiar with the markups list through Review Desktop, I'm going to explain a little bit about it. So the markups list is what you see at the very bottom of your screen when you click this little blue nub. You can adjust it as needed so it doesn't take up as much room. Okay, and um, you notice on this PDF that I have, there's a bunch of annotations here already. Okay, but let's just say I want to have a better way to go through this list of markups and see who did what, when it was done, and, and what it's about. So that's exactly what the markups list does. And um, if there's more than this amount of columns that you can't see, you can simply just swipe back and forth to see any other columns that are there, any other remarks. You can even sort. So um, if you sort by subject, you can go up and down alphabetically from the top to the bottom. You can go by page number, um, by date, by color, by anything that you need to that will help you um, just go through the PDF file much easier. You can also edit anything in the markups list. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit so I can see more of the PDF. And uh, well, it might be a little bit too small. All right, there we go. So let's just say I want to click on this uh, markup here. It takes me directly to it. And if I double click on any of these areas here, if I just tap over it, I can edit. I can also change the color if I need to. And if there's too much information here, I can always sort and hide. So let me show you filters. It might be better actually if I bring this up a little bit higher. So I have architecture markups, electrical, I got mechanical markups in here. Um, there's a bunch of stuff, but I just want to see everything under, say, electrical. So I can sort by my subject, select electrical. And now the only markups that show up in this list are going to be my electrical ones. Okay, the other cool thing is that you can, let me clear this filter. You can also show and hide different columns simply by turning them on and off through manage columns. You can even rearrange them if you need to. And a lot of people have asked about statuses. Okay, so right now you see the status column, everything is set to none. If I need to set a status, I can go directly to that, tap on that, and um, I have all the different statuses right here. I can accept that, accepted by me right at this time. And if you have any custom columns uh, for, for a PDF such as responsibilities, uh, formulas, or anything else, um, these are also imported as well. So as long as the PDF that you have has custom columns that were created on Review Desktop, all of these columns will work and they'll be perfectly, perfectly compatible with those on the iPad. So um, that's Markups List and we'll talk to you soon.